Our latest ABC News and Washington Post poll shows sharp divisions on individual issues. Voters trust Republicans more on issues like the economy, inflation, and crime, while they trust Democrats more on issues like threats to democracy and abortion. So let's bring in ABC News contributors, former special assistant to President Biden, Michael LaRosa, and former Republican Congressman Tom Graves of Georgia for more on all of this. Michael, I'll start with you. President Biden has been very focused on touting his economic policies in That's this right. home stretch. Um, but voters still show in these polls over and over again that they trust Republicans more on the economy. Do you think this election will be viewed as a referendum on President Biden's economic policies? I don't think that's what we're seeing, because if you look at the data, if you e even if we were to look at polls, right, what we saw consistently over the entire uh, last few months, the entire fall, is that voters seem to be separating their feelings from either the president's performance and uh, Democratic candidates, which means that the Democratic candidates are actually out, out polling uh, President Biden in popularity. And the other part to that is that they're on their negative numbers are much lower than their Republican counterparts. So just because you might care uh, about the economy, that might be your number one priority. That does not mean you're going to pull the lever for Dr. Oz. All right. And Tom, our latest poll shows that voters trust Democrats more than Republicans on abortion. How concerned are you that the overturning of Roe versus Wade could drive more Democratic voters to the polls tomorrow? Well, I think that issue in particular probably energizes both party, both bases equally. And so I, I don't see it being a negative towards the Republicans at all. But what I've noticed personally, and I guess sort of building on what was just said previously, is that, you know, over the last couple of months, the Democrats have really missed the message. They've missed the opportunity to set the narrative for where the American people are at this moment. Instead, they chose a different narrative, and maybe it was what the party narrative wanted it to be and hoped it would be coming into Election Day. But it just really didn't match up with where the voters are and where their focuses are or where their concerns are right now. Now, Michael, Republicans have hit Democrats hard on crime. Yes. How challenging <laughs> is it for Democrats to overcome that issue? Well, look, it was the Democrats who, I think, last month passed a $300 million bill to invest in police departments, which have le less than 125 police officers. Now, luckily, it was a, it was pretty bipartisan, but that, that fell under Democratic leadership. That's Democrats investing in law enforcement. What surprises me about Democrats is that they have not um, identified Republicans with January 6th as much as I, I think they should, specifically on law enforcement. There is only one party's supporters we have seen beat the heck out of police officers on TV, 140 of them. And that was Republicans. That was Trump supporters. I don't see how they could get away with being the party of law and order. Tom, President Biden and Democrats have said that democracy itself is on the ballot. Many Republican candidates have denied the results of the 2020 election. Some also haven't committed to accepting the results of these elections or have outright said that they won't concede if they lose. Do you think they'll follow through on that? And are you worried about that at all? <laughs> well, if I, if I were to look at this election cycle, I think the, the, the individuals probably most concerned about the outcomes of elections this uh, tomorrow would be the Democrats. There's probably more of them that are going to be um, uh, upset with the outcomes rather than Republicans. And saying that, they do have the opportunity. If it's a tight election, the states allow for recounts. They allow for, you know, uh, various uh, uh, looking at uh, different uh, items that might have occurred throughout election and have them go through the court system. All those things are available. They're available to Democrats and they're available to Republicans as well. And they, everybody should have that opportunity. But given that, I, I think there's going to be more Democrats upset with the outcomes of tomorrow elections than, uh, than Republicans. I would just say that if you look at what we've seen so far and people who are actually voting, that uh, Democrats are ahead by 5 million votes going into tomorrow. Mathematically, it just gets tougher for Republicans. They have to dig themselves out starting at a 5 million vote deficit tomorrow. If, if there's well, a red there are wave. There also nuances if, in early voting versus if, people going to the polls and party tendencies there, are, there. There are, but if there's a red wave, we haven't seen it yet. All right, Tom, Michael, thank you both. We appreciate it. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.